back inside the park. Welcome to our show, Wonders of the Wild, sponsored this year by Kimberly Park. My name is Shelby, and over the next few minutes, we're actually going to be spending some time together learning how you can create a better world for animals. But before we do that, I want to make sure that we do keep our social distancing guidelines in check. It looks like you guys are doing an awesome job already. You'll notice that every other row is empty, and then you want to be uh, nice and spaced apart on those stickers between your friends. So great job, everybody. Now, I do promise that you will still get an up-close view of all of our animals, no matter where you're sitting today. This first animal, though, he's going to be pretty hard to miss, actually, all right? Draw your attention behind me. We're about to be joined by Fred the Capybara. Now, capybara are the largest species of rodents in the entire world. So remember, he's hard to miss. Yeah, there he is. Now, Fred here weighs about 130 pounds, but these guys can get anywhere up to 150 pounds. Now, they're going to get that weight by eating almost non-stop. They're herbivores, so they're munching on things like fruits, veggies, reeds, and leaves along the waterways of Central and South America. Whoa, I got it. Too close, not six feet. He's about three feet long, so if you put two cappy bears together, you'll be a good social distance away from each other. Great job, buddy. Now, these guys are going to be living along the waterways of Central and South America, and they're actually going to provide fresh water to everybody out in that area. Everybody, including their predators. I know, I know what you're thinking. This rodent of unusual size has predators. They have to worry about things like anaconda, jaguar, maybe even a caiman, which is closely related to the alligator. But don't worry, they've got some tricks up their sleeves, all right? First of all, they got this nice brown coloration. If you stand perfectly still, just like that, they'll look like a rock or a boulder, and that predator will just walk on by. But if he does get spotted, he's also got something known as partially webbed feet. What do you guys think you're going to do when you get webbed feet? Swimming, that's exactly right. So if you get spotted by one of those predators, he can take to the water with his lightning quick, where he can hold his breath for up to five minutes. And he can keep his eyes open the entire time. Now you might notice his eyes here to know they're all right on top of his head. That means that he needs to peek out and see if that predator is still in the area. He doesn't have to show very much of his body at all. Well, looks like Fred is long gone back into the Amazon. That was Fred, our happy bear. Thank you. He did swimmingly. Thank you, thank you. Now, a great way that y'all can help create a better world for Fred and other Central and South American animals is as simple as cutting back on your plastic water bottle uses. You see, those water bottles and lots of trash make their way to the ground, into the water, and on. The best thing you guys can purchase is one of those reusable water bottles. Take with you and keep using those to make sure you cut back on that plastic. It's going to create a better world for uh, guys like us, uh, as well as lots of others around the world. Now, this next animal is going to be very exciting. I promise you can get a close view of all these animals. This one will be zipping through the treetops. So we're going to leave Central and South America and head on over into Africa. You guys might notice that another trainer, Katie, has shown up in the back there. So this next bird will be zipping back and forth between myself and her. So everyone stay seated and uh, you'll get a great view, I promise. We're going to be joined by Falco, our trumpeter hornbill. She'll be showing up from right over here and, like I said, making her way towards Katie there in the back. There she goes. Great job. Now, uh, Falco here is a trumpeter hornbill. She gets that name from that large uh, sort of lump on the top of her beak there. It's known as a cat. The cat is simply a hollow part of her beak. Wow. It's made out of carrot this thing stuff that our fingernails are made out of. And what's really cool about it is because it's hollow, it allows her to rattle that sound around and make a loud trumpeting call. And the name is Trumpeter Hornbill. Now, how many of you guys have seen The Lion King? Either the old animated or the new version. Yep, me too. You guys remember Zahu, right? The father's right hand man. That is a hornbill just like our trumpeter here. Now Disney did take some creative licensing there with that hornbill. He's not necessarily a specific type of hornbill. He's kind of a uh, lot of them. Yeah, let's keep our hands to ourselves, all right? We want to make sure everyone stays nice and safe, especially our bird. The zombie there, he is sort of just a hornbill. Uh, you can kind of closely to a silvery cheek hornbill, maybe even a Jackson. But there are all different types and shapes of hornbills as well. Now here at the Dallas Zoo, we use positive reinforcement, so that means that any time uh, we ask our animals to do anything, they're always going to get some sort of cheeky snack towards doing it. 
Third time that we ask these guys to come toward us, we've got Casey Stack waiting for them in our hands. Uh, Falco here really enjoys great. Today we've got some apple chunks, so always a great mixture of things. I personally work really well for cupcakes, paychecks. Right now I do just about anything for a hug. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, these, these guys like to work for those grapes and apples, but it kind of changes animal to animal. Now kids, if you guys think this kind of sounds familiar, if you've ever heard your parents say something like, finish your dinner, then you can have dessert. Do your homework, then you can have a uh, hangout outside. Uh, clean your room, then you can play with your toys, right? That's positive reinforcement. Now, if you care if you guys can take that homework, about some child training to you guys with tips, tips and tricks. All right, what do you think, Falco? You've done some awesome plugs through here. You want to make your way on out of here? Great job. There she goes. That was Falco, our trumpeter horn.
way out of the theater. Well, we'll be swimming around in the water. You're more than welcome to watch it as you make your way out. Let's see if she comes back.